So Inglorious Bastards is actually a really frustrating film for me as a fan of Quentin Tarantino and the movies in general because he kind of pulls a bait and switch on us. If you see the advertisements for it, you you think it's going to be this rip roaring, rousing movie about Americans killing Nazis, as as Brad Pitt says. But it's really not that. Or to be more specific, it is that for about a third of the film, and for the rest of it, it's kind of a talky picture about European resistance Jews fighting against the Nazis and a plan to kill the Nazi high command, and it kind of skips all over the place. It's divided, the movie's divided into five distinct chapters. The opening sequence, which may be the best in the film, uh, is basically just a Nazi SS officer going one-on-one with this French country guy who has hidden a, a family of Jews under his basement floors. And then the second chapter is the introduction to the inglorious bastards, Brad Pitt and his crew, who have made it their business to make the Nazis miserable. The rest of the movie is kind of, again, it's kind of a digression. It's kind of a... Uh, look at at life away from the americans and and it doesn't really work for me it's it's very it's very boring is the wrong word but but it drags it drags on and on and it, it feels like it's not quite getting to the point when when brad pitt and his guys are on the screen it's arguably the best film of the year it's full of life and joy and fun uh, and when the rest of the guys are on the screen, you know it's it's not so much i mean i I did not care for it nearly as much as that first uh, two two fifths or so.